I bought Industrial Development Board parallel to the with the Ministry of Industries have conducted a exhibition from 22nd June to 25th of June this year and we have successfully completed the exhibition. Parallel to this event we have planned to we have launched a virtual exhibition and we are conducting this event uh, for the coming two weeks. Uh, parallel to this we have conduct we are planning to discuss uh, different sectors awareness programs. So uh, today we are going to discuss with uh, the with the Pavitri Piris Director Tea Promotion Sri Lanka Tea Board to uh, cater our industrialists with the Sri Lankan Tea Board uh, experiences. So now uh, I would like to warmly welcome Ms. Pavitri Piris, Director Tea Board Promotions uh, to the program. Hi boy. Hi boy. Uh, so, Ms. Pavitri, can you explain the role of the Sri Lanka Tea Board, how it is going today? Yeah, actually the Sri Lanka Tea Board is the main uh, authority who is uh, uh, handling all the tea operational activities in Sri Lanka. Uh, mainly there is a three areas we are covering, one is uh, regulatory part and then the uh, development of the industry and promotion of Ceylon tea in uh, globally. Uh, based on that, uh, whatever the three areas, the especially then the uh, development of the industry, we are catering to plantation development and then the especially smallholder development because then the smallholder sector is uh, representing 75% of the production to us uh, for a tea uh, production. And then the regulatory part means we always uh, try to keep our quality of the tea and then ensure the quality to uh, consumer and then the, all the whatever the practices also we are monitoring and supervising. Other than that the promotion is the other main area. We are, going, we are normally they're promoting Ceylon tea in overseas market and then the local market also. Uh, mainly uh, the genetically we promote Ceylon tea and uh, take the support from the brands also because, because under the Ceylon tea umbrella there is a lot of brands uh, then we are supporting them to position in their uh, own brand names in uh, overseas markets also parallel to that uh, our uh, national brand campaign. Okay, so can you, can we know the background of the Sri Lanka tea board and how is it going, the history of Sri Lanka tea board? Yeah, actually if you are discussing about the history of the Ceylon tea, uh, when we introduced the Ceylon tea to Sri Lanka, uh, that is the, the uh, main uh, area, uh, area we have to discuss uh, in our industry. Uh, because uh, you all know then the, uh, in British period we are having coffee here, uh, then after they got the fungus for the coffee plantation, then we moved to uh, Ceylon, Ceylon tea. tea. Uh, then uh, actually then uh, tea introduced by Chinese uh, 27, 37 BC but after that we brought it to Sri Lanka in 1824 by the British. Uh, then uh, specially then we uh, planted tea first in botanical garden in uh, Peradeniya. Uh, then uh, 1867 uh, then the James Taylor planted the tea in 19... Uh, hectare uh, 19 acres area in Lul Kandura. Uh, then we start the commercial tea uh, business in Sri Lanka and then we send the first shipment to London tea auction and then after then we establish the auction here also Colombo auction. Okay. That is a process we started our tea industry in Sri Lanka. Okay. So what type of trends are having by Sri Lankan tea industry today? Strengths uh, are having like ah right okay strengthens because then the strengthens means uh, then uh, at the moment normally we are producing 
300 million uh, kilos per annum mm. uh, in the country and uh, exporting around 95% of the teas to uh, overseas market. Uh, then uh, the market, uh, if we are talking about the market wise also, we are reaching more than 150 countries at the moment for C uh, Ceylon tea shipments. Uh, then uh, other thing is uh, nearly 90 to 95 percent tea production sale through the public auction system. It is one of the strength that we are having and then the, we are maintaining uh, supply and demand market uh, structure for Ceylon tea at the moment. And other thing is if you are talking about then uh, normally then the, our revenue 1.5 billion but then the whatever the last few uh, last three years period due to that the covid and then the some policy issues and everything then we earn last year 1.27 billion usd okay. uh, the whatever the amounts i am referring yeah. to the usd amounts uh, those are the background of the uh, whatever the uh, strengthens and then the capacity of the industry uh, then other thing is then we are getting uh, we are practicing all the sustainability practices in the industry mm -hmm. because we introduced reasonable price formula for all the farmers they are getting uh, their farming price the t kilo they get from the auction price uh, the formula like 32 to 68 32 will go go, uh, go to factory and then the 68 will uh, go to the farmer that is the way we are going to uh, trickle down the whatever the uh, prices uh, get from uh, auction to farmer. Okay, so we know that Sri Lanka has different type of regions, right? So can you explain the agroclimatic tea growing regions in Sri Lanka and how you grade them in Sri Lanka? Yeah, mainly right. the Sri Lankan tea growing areas we break for a three uh, 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 levels, levels. Uh, high grown, mid grown and low grown. Then normally then we are having 19 percent teas from the high grown at presently and then the 32 percent from the mid grown and uh, 49 percent oh. from the low grown area. Oh. Uh, if you are considering as a whatever the hectares we are already uh, maintaining as a tea gardens are uh, 221,000 hectares we are maintaining as a tea gardens in Sri Lanka. On that basis then we can see seven regional areas. Seven regional means then the in depending on the sea level to mountain, mountain levels. When we are talking about the high grown, uh, it above 4,000 feet above mm -hmm. level then we are talking about as a high grown. Mm -hmm. Then under that high grown there is a four regions. Then the Nuwarelia, Udapusella, Uwa and Dimbula. And then the all these four regions we are getting different type of teas. Yes. And those teas are different color. Mm -hmm. And there is a the, uh, color we can see the differences and then the aroma and taste. Okay. All the characters we can see the differences from this. So do the, they have different values? When it's yeah, depending on the taste. Because uh, actually then uh, in depending on the taste of the consumer. Because some are like uh, light tea, some are like uh, strong tea, yeah. some want to be the balanced tea, some mm -hmm. are using tea, uh, tea with sugar, some are using tea with milk and the flavors, yeah. and flavors also. Yeah. On that basis then the uh, price and then the other all the factors also depending on the consumer choice. Yeah. Uh, then other than the medium grown means the candy area mm -hmm. and then the low grown means the sabra gamu and uh, ruhuna. Then once we are going to discuss with the differences in the uh, whatever the regional wise, then once we go to the Nuwarelia, Nuwarelia agroclimatic district, uh, then the uh, sea it, uh, it's in uh, above uh, 6,200 feet from the sea level. It's a very mountain mm -hmm. range, and yeah. then the, all the climate, mountain climate, climate effects we are getting to the tea plantation and then the normally that the color of the tea is very orange is and the light color okay. then we can use that tea without sugar and there is a small sweetness also getting that tea. Uh, that type of uh, uh, smoothie and then the very uh, uh, slight uh, feel we can get from the uh, Nuwarelia teas. Mm -hmm. That is a specialty for the Nuwarelia 
once we brew the nuorelia then you can see that the orange yeah. color from the nuorelia so the demand goes there oh. yeah demand also then uh, again then the demand depending on the consumer choice that's okay. why i want to explain yeah. uh, because then the uh, consumers in europe and then the whatever the north american that type of areas they are very keen to take the uh, light color mm -hmm. uh, tea then they are using nuorelia high grown teas uh then we i will explain once i move into the other okay. regions also yeah. how they are using but the udapusella was also uh, light but not uh, light uh, it light but not like to the norelia mm -hmm. little dark but uh, it's also getting some uh, special seasonal teas and then getting some experience about the uh, light bright tea with the rosy liquor actually mm. then if you are brewing it if you are brewing it then you can see then the, what is the differences in the uh, color cups then uh, we can display it uh, whatever the differences in oh. the color cups also uh, then uh, if we move to the uh, other regions then we can see the uva uh, and then uh, after that then the dimbula then dimbula is the region which is uh, getting uh, uh color like uh, uh quality uh it means uh, producing ranges of teas full body flavor it means then you can use dimbula uh, with tea uh, milk or then without milk also that's why then a very dedicated light fragrant color then you can see mm. from the dimbula normally then in sri lanka also most of the people using dimbula uh, teas uh for so sri lankan production mostly those not only for the sri lanka actually uh, sri lankan drugs is very low because then our consumers are only for the uh, whatever the population is less no yes, that's sir. why yeah. then only we are using 5% to 3% uh, yeah. percentage from the total production okay. normally yeah. then the 95% we are exporting exporting yeah. then once we move to the candy region then the candy region is the very special because then the uh, we started our tea growing from uh, those areas then the whatever the uh, height we are considering also then the 4000 to 2000 mm. feet uh, between that area uh, then you can see the color also then the mid grown teas the full body strong characters you can see and when prepared it gives the deeper red color mm. okay right? that's why then the so specialties the yes then once we uh, then we can move to the uh, low grown teas there is a two uh, regional areas representing by low grown mm. Uh, especially for the Sabaragamua and then the other one is the Ruhuna, then the strong tea. The normally then uh, Ruhuna uh, low grooms are using by Middle East countries mm -hmm. and then the Russia CIS countries also using mm -hmm. specially and then the very suit for the uh, with milk also. Okay. So, okay, so can you explain the annual tea production and auction price trends in this? Yes, uh, last, decade. last decade if you are talking about the annual tea production then uh, trend, uh, 2011 reported uh, 327.5 million tea production mm -hmm. and it uh, come for the highest level in 2013 uh, 340, mm -hmm. uh, 340 million kilos mm -hmm. and after that there is some uh, decrease we can oh. see because the peak oh. is uh, 340 then after that we can see the uh, decreases mm -hmm. in last uh, especially for the Do last three years and uh, the due to the covid, COVID and yeah. then the for lack of fertilizer okay. issue uh, fertilizer then there is a uh, going down and then uh, last year reported uh, 251.5 million kilos mm -hmm. in last year okay. then once ex, uh, auction price especially then the auction price depending on the supply and demand uh, but i will talk about the auction price in usd uh, rates uh, then if you are considering in a uh, 2011 it was 3.25 dollars mm -hmm. per kilo mm -hmm. and now then the last year uh, uh, 2022 end uh, it's uh, increased to the uh, 3.87 yes yeah. the, uh, because due to that whatever the drop in the production then again the demand is going high, high and high. then the price also go, oh. goes up. That's a good mix. Okay, so what are the unique sales points in Ceylon tea and health benefits? 
Yes, the, normally uh, we are promoting Ceylon tea, we are discussing seven points, mm -hmm. seven unique sales points okay. because special areas we have to mention in our Ceylon tea. Uh, then especially then the uh, number one point is uh, our tea uh, get from hand picked. Okay. Uh, normally we are calling pluckers, mm -hmm. tea pluckers, yes. they are pick the uh, leaf, tea. Uh, tea leaves from the uh, tea plant, then they select whatever the tea leaves, correct tea leaves, uh, two leaves and one bud. Uh, that is why then the specialty is once we are doing this activity manually, then we selected accurate, uh, we maintain the accuracy of the uh, plucking uh, tea, uh, tea leaves. Uh, that is the main reason we are maintaining now then the industry is 157 years old uh, as a commercial yeah. product. We maintaining that quality and the standards and then the every uh, cleanness and everything based on what, whatever the foundation and base is there, they we maintain the accuracy mm. of the selection of the leaves. That is one point, okay. uh, first point. And then we move to the next point is, uh, I already explained the diversity. Okay. Diversity means now we are getting seven type of teas mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka based on the regional uh, diversity. That is the other specialty we are promoting mm -hmm. in our uh, unique characters mm -hmm. in our tea. Other thing is the orthodox tea production because the orthodox is our production method. Mm -hmm. Then Sri Lanka still protect the whatever the conventional orthodox practices manufacturing for manufacturing process okay. that is one of the unique, uh, unique uh, method for okay. producing method and then the CTC also we producing because the production if you are taking out the uh, amount of the production because we are producing 90 percent orthodox tea mm -hmm. and another 8 to 9 percent from the CTC tea. Another thing is the producing teas is a passion because then the once we are uh, getting is the operational pattern in the garden, then we can see garden to auction, then we can see growing, producing Ceylon tea is a traditional and then fashion for the 150 years, we may 100, more than 155 years we are maintaining that the same fashion and then the 2 million people, 2 million people all over the Sri Lanka uh, from tea plucker to tea producer mm -hmm. and then from the tea taster to tea packer. Uh, then the committee, uh, committee in their themselves uh, to produce some finest black tea mm. in, in the country. Mm. That is the fashion of the chain, chain, how we are producing tea and how then the tea, uh, how we pluck the tea and how we uh, take the final manufacturing item for the export market okay. and then the local market toss. Okay. And then we move to, I can explain the other, uh, other thing is the fifth point. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ceylon tea is ethical. Ethical means we are not allowing well. to the child labor. We well paid for the uh, yeah. uh, labor and then the labor labor sector also unionized okay. because they are having yeah. negotiations powers and that type of yeah. uh, freedom also to work under that industry. And other thing is freshness. Once we uh, 